I'm a resident of Long Branch. I live Maybe in the L Brown please. section. I don't need to give you my address. We need it for record? Please. No, you don't. Your name then? I'm a Long Branch resident. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm here tonight and I'm really unhappy about being here. Um, it's really become apparent that uh, anytime you need to get something done in this town, you need to hire a lawyer. And that's something that you told me, uh, Mr. Mayor, <laughs> Um, about six years ago when I had an issue with the school district. And that's what I had to do. I had to hire a lawyer to fight for services for my autistic son. So now I have housing issues and I have everyone telling me to hire a lawyer. And that would be great if my landlords weren't lawyers that also worked for the city. So I'm sure you can imagine um, what kind of situation that puts me in. Um, so I felt like, um, even though I have a lot of anxiety and I'm not very physically healthy, I need to come here and I need to put on record that I feel very vulnerable in my housing right now as um, a single parent with a disabled child um, where I cannot make a complaint without fear of some kind of you know, eviction or retaliation, and everybody says, oh, well, there are laws about that, and there are laws about this. Well, I've had the experience of having to hire lawyers in the past to fight for, you know, rights that my son is entitled to under ADA. Um, so I just wanted to come here and put on record that these things are happening in Long Branch. People are being discriminated against. I'm not going to make any accusations and accuse you know, anybody and make strong comments about that. I'm gonna let it work itself out. And I hope that all of us come to an agreement easily. <laughs> um, but I do wanna put on record that this is happening. Please, please don't interrupt me only because it's very difficult for okay, me to get this out. Thank you. So um, this is happening in Long Branch. Um, and I think that it's a quality of life issue that goes back to this housing crisis that we're facing. A lot of people see beautiful new homes, but what they don't see is the housing crisis behind it. They don't see that um, you know middle class renters are getting pushed out, people that can't afford their homes are getting pushed out. You can only rent in this town if you can afford luxury or if you're a Section 8 um, voucher holder. I'm neither one of those things, which makes it very difficult to find a two bedroom apartment in, in Long Branch. Um, they're limited, number one. Um, number two, a lot of the units have been uh, turned into condos. You have um, apartment complexes like the Diplomat, which is now, you know, dorms for Monmouth University students. So I'm wondering, um, one, with, in relation to the housing, um, have, when was the last time there was a housing study what is, uh, I want to know more about um, what you consider fair market housing. Uh, all the redevelopment, uh, you know, we were told that Long Branch was not going to be made into a seasonal town. That's exactly what it has been made into. Um, by getting rid of the Animal House Ordinance, we are now um, allowing multiple COs, um, uh, like, this woman here, I live in Elbron. There are students with parties, um, parking, there are condoms and, uh, you know, um, empty bottles of, of uh, booze at my kid's bus stop. Those are quality of life issues. Um, Peer Village rents out to Monmouth University students for like $4,000 a semester. What do you think that does to the rental costs in other areas of Long Branch. You know, it's making rentals unaffordable. You have one minute. Thank you. That was supposed to only be 5% of rentals going to Monmouth University students. Now, I don't know what it is there at Pier Village now, but we have that, we have the Diplomat, we have other places in town where um, people are experiencing rental increases upon renewals that are in the area of 200 and $300. This is happening. People are getting increased $200. There are no um, 
ordinances on the books for you know renters' rights or how much rent could be increased. Um, how can anyone afford an increase like that? But owners don't care because they'll move you out and they'll move in a Monmouth University student and then someone else in the summer. So lastly, I just want to make this request. In light of these kinds of issues, I'm asking City Council to, as soon as possible, reorganize the following committees. The ADA committee, which by ordinance was established in 93, the Fair Housing Task Force, by ordinance in 81, and the Landlord Tenant Review Board that was established by ordinance in 83. Thank you. Your time is up. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to make a point.